it gets paused on here. And today let's talk about 10 websites or tools that you should really know about if you're playing Path of Exile. Now, Path of Exile is an extremely intricate and vast game. And uh, usually when that happens and the game doesn't provide you with enough information, we'll have uh, people of the community uh, making third party tools or websites to kind of compensate for that. And that is exactly what happened in Path of Exile. We have a very dedicated community, which will provide you with a lot of information uh, just because they care about the game. So basically, thank you to everybody who has any part in any of these websites. You're awesome. I love that these websites exist. They make the game a lot more fun. Let's get into it. On top of that, everything I will talk about will be linked down below. And if I have a more specific video about that, I will also link it. So number one is the PoeWiki.net. And this one is about information. So whatever you need, um, you'll probably get it here. I'll give you an example right now. Um, so if you type in chill, you're like, I don't know how chill works. I want to make a cold build. All right, let's click on chill and we'll go through it. Chill is an elemental ailment inherent to cold and so on and so on. You have very in-depth listings, but it starts off with basic mechanics and goes in more and more in-depth. And the good thing about a wiki is it doesn't just give you raw numbers. It actually gives you more context with actual paragraphs um, explaining why stuff is the way it is. So overall, if you're a new player, this is an incredibly valuable resource. But it's not just for new players. I'm always on the PO wiki looking for new stuff. Like I said, this game is just way too vast to know everything. It doesn't matter if you have 10 hours or 20,000 hours. It will always be worthwhile to check the wiki for certain things. Um, also, you can look for certain keywords. So for example, when we're here uh, with chill, you will see kind of all skill gems that are related to chill. You will see all item mods that are related, and you will also see every single unique item that is related, basically making it easier for you to kind of make these connections between certain items and mods. Now, a huge problem with the actual PoE wiki is that it's actually listed second here after the fandom wiki. This one is outdated ever since 3.16. Do not use the fandom wiki. Don't get tricked by it. Usually on the left side, you can see here this fandom and then you know you're on the fandom wiki. Don't do it. Use a normal one. Number two, the PoEDB or PoE database. This is also a information website. This is, yeah, it's a huge database with a ton of raw data. Now, the difference between the DB and the wiki is usually you will not get a lot of like context for anything. This is more for people who are searching for something very specific or for numbers. So when it comes to myself, I usually look for a PoEDB first, but that doesn't mean that it's useless. Um, usually I use them in tandem with the wiki. Um, and if there's something I don't know anything about, the the PUEDB is usually not as useful as the wiki. So I would just say use both. However, there's also a lot of things that the PUEDB does that the wiki does not. For example, if we look for Baron the Crusader, which is a boss, uh, you will see everything you need to know here. Uh, so the more nerd you are, the more you're going to appreciate PUEDB. Um, you can look for literally everything here. You will have a breakdown of every single attack that boss does. This is basically data mined, um, so you will get a lot more in-depth numbers. Number three, pathofexile.com slash trade. GGG's official trading website. Now, this one's pretty easy. Um, it's there to trade with other people and whisper them for certain items. There's no auction house system in Path of Exile, so you have to whisper people, then they have to invite you, and you do the trade. Uh, you can search for rares, uniques, whatever you want, and you can also have the bulk exchange right here, which is usually for things you want more than one of, um, for example, like currencies or any sort of fragment or exotic currency. And almost everything that you would want is also searchable. So um, no matter whether you're using on the left side, the filters that are already there, like armor, DPS, sockets, links, there's basically everything here. Um, also specific filters like heist filters, whatever you want. On the right side, you have stat filters. This is basically there for uh, wanting specific stats. So for example, if I type in cold res right here, it's going to show me plus two cold resistance. Uh, if I want fire resistance on top, on this, I can also type in, for example, 30, right? So I want any item with cold, fire, and lightning res of at least 30. This is like the most basic thing I can kind of explain. And you can say, okay, I want it on a body armor. Uh, boom, type in search, and you will find every single body armor that has these stats. If you want to know more about it, this probably needs like a 20-minute video or something, which I'm most likely going to do in the future. All you have to know is that if you want to trade anything, this website is GG. Oh, also, don't ever use the trade chat in game. Um, basically, the trade chat consists of scammers and new players who don't know about pavvexile.trade. Uh, so it's this nice um, kind of like uh, symphony between uh, scammers scamming new players and then new players maybe later finding out about the actual trading website. Uh, just don't use it. Number four is Path of Building. This is a build-making tool. 
And what it lets you do is basically completely plan out your build. It also lets you import and export builds so you can share them with other people in the community or you can receive them. A path of building has a lot of functions. I actually made a very long video about this a long time ago. Um, there's also a timestamp for whenever you only want to import other people's builds, stuff like that. That's also explained. I'll link it down in the description. Um, all you need to know is that this is basically a no-brainer. If you want to spend a lot of time in the game and you ever want to make your own build or even understand how other people's builds work, there is no going around this. And I have this debate a lot with people who are more purist when it comes to Path of Exile. They say it kind of makes the game too much into a spreadsheet, which is fair enough, right? And obviously, if you've played this game for a decade, you can make a build without Path of Building, but all of these people have used Path of Building in the past to learn about the game. So what I would tell you is that there is zero chance that you will ever make a build that's anywhere near somebody who uses path of building and if you're still unsure whether you should get this program i would basically describe it like this this program is not there to make builds for you it's there for you to apply your knowledge and it makes stuff easier for example how often have you thought in game is 10 percent damage here better eight percent crit multi four percent attack speed now, if you're good at math you can figure that out in a few minutes but let's be real this program just saves you so much time um, it's basically a no-brainer. Even more so because the in-game tooltip damage is completely useless. And for example, if you see somebody making a build, um, you can kind of judge it by looking at their POB. Uh, it's a lot easier than just seeing their gameplay. Next up on number five is filterblade.xyz. This is a website designed by Neversync uh, to make loot filters. Since Path of Exile has so many items and most of them are completely useless, loot filters allow you to filter all the useless stuff out and you have very very precise control over what these items are. And this website here lets you either easily access default loot filters, like here, soft, regular, semi-strict, strict, very strict, uber strict, and so forth, right? Uh, or it also lets you exactly customize just exactly which items you want to show. Now, this also needs a longer video, so I can't explain everything here, but basically I have a video, I'll link it down in the description, where I talk about how you can just easily get a default loot filter, uh, or you can make your own. I go a little bit more in depth uh, if you like stylizing um, your loot filters yourself. Now, not only does NeverSync provide a great tool with this website, he also updates it regularly. So for example, economy updates. If a unique is worth more in week two than it was in week one, and you have like the lowest uniques hidden, it will actually upgrade to a higher one. He does this quite frequently, which is awesome. And uh, one more thing is do not use the in-game default loot filter. So if you go here to options, if you don't have any downloaded, um, you will go to game here and uh, you can see the uh, list of item filters and there will be a default one here. Never choose none. Uh, default is almost as bad as none. It's basically useless, but it's still, I guess, technically better than having none. Uh, but yeah, I can just say default loot filter is a joke. Take like five minutes out of your day uh, to make yourself a loot filter. Number six, craftofexile.com. This is, as the name already implies, about crafting. Now, crafting is absurdly important. And if you know how to craft, you're going to save a ton of currency. If you know how to use Craft of Exile, you're going to save a lot of currency. And while this website doesn't provide you with the absolute basics, it gives you a database to basically look for everything you want. So you can look for every single item type uh, so base type uh, mods and their weighting. So for example, if we go to jewelry here and we go to amulet, you can basically see all the stats that would be on a, on a base amulet. Then if you have a shaper amulet, these mods are added on top. Uh, if you have an, a shaper and an elder amulet, these are getting added on top. You can distinguish between prefix and suffix. Even better than that, you can actually plan out your crafts and see how expensive they are. For example, there's a very cool tool here in terms of fossils. I'll just click on some random stuff. Let's say I want plus one to uh, chaos. I want um, maximum life, let's say at least tier two. And then I also want for some reason tier one intelligence. You'll go to fossils right here and it will basically tell you exactly how much it needs. I press on compute best selection. Now it basically does simulations and now we found it and it tells you exactly what the best combination of fossils is, uh, how many tries it is and how much chaos it costs. This was obviously a nonsensical craft. You should never do this. Uh, it also kind of has like a, a meta snapshot of how expensive these fossils are. You can also emulate stuff, which is pretty damn cool. You can create a new item, let's say like, a, I don't know, some large cluster jewel, right? And you can literally go ahead and orb of alchemy. You can chaos spam, see what you get. Uh, this is basically data mined, so you'll get the actual outcome that it would have in-game. It's obviously completely random. You even have harvest crafts, like 
more in-depth stuff. Uh, you can play around with this, which is pretty cool because usually the way you learn crafting is by making mistakes and wasting currency. This kind of helps you with that. And if nothing I just said makes any sense, then just keep this website in mind for later. Whenever you learn the basics about crafting, it's the thing that will get you to the next level. Now then number seven, this is Awakened PoE Trade. This makes your trading experience a lot easier. Now this lets you quickly price items. This is like an overlay. So let's say I go to this item right here. I press Control D. It will tell me round about what my item is worth. At least in theory, you obviously still have to kind of accommodate for certain mods that are harder to price. So if I press plus one to maximum frenzy charges, now it only searches for the ones that also have that. So now we are at one divine instead of one chaos. Um, we go for, I don't know, at least 45 life. Now it searches for only plus one and also minimum of 45 life. Sometimes it takes a little and you can basically refine your searches this way. I would say overall, this is more something for uh, more veteran players who know what they have to search for, what are the money maker stats on their items. Otherwise, you will sometimes sell stuff way too cheap. This is especially true when it comes to rares. I would not personally price rares uh, on this app, but it is extremely good for just very basic stuff, right? Um, so it should be in your arsenal. Now, this app also has other functionalities, which is a little bit too long to go into. But for example, you can bind uh, certain uh, teleports to certain mouse keys. For example, if I press F5 here, it will get me to my hideout. So the simpler your item, the easier it will be to price. And for example, fragments or stuff like that are going to be incredibly easy. Uh, you can also look for uh, currency conversion ratios. So for example, here, you will see that a divine is currently worth 154 chaos. Anything else doesn't really fit into this video, just know a very, very useful tool. Now, this Discord is a great way to sell kind of random or clunky stuff in bulk that you can't really search for on Path of Exile Trade. So for example, let's say you have... I don't know, 20 shaper maps, right? And you could obviously sell them. I have four Forge of the Phoenix, five Lair of the Hydra, stuff like that, and sell them uh, singularly. You could do that, but you could also just throw them in here and sell 20 shaper maps for a certain price. And on the Contra, if you want to buy a lot of shaper maps, this is also where you want to go. So for example, we have bulk sell here. And if we go to bulk sell maps, you will see right here, there's people literally selling them in the hundreds. Also, if you ever ask yourself, how do I always have the exact helmet chance that I need on exactly that unique helmet? Nobody usually does that, right? Well, you can just pay somebody to run lab for you. It's going to cost you, I don't know, it depends on the league. It could cost you three divines, it could cost you 10 divines, whatever. And then they're going to say, okay, give me like 24 hours or 36 hours or whatever. And you give them the helmet and they're going to give it back to you um, after they hit it in lab. That's huge. And also for um, meta crafting, Ashling T4s are very wanted and very annoying to farm for yourself. And there's a plethora of other uses, but mostly I would say it's more for experienced players. Obviously, if you're a new player, um, you can basically ignore this for now. Just know that it exists. And in tandem with that, we have number nine, which is the TFT bulk selling tool. So to make what I just said easier for you, um, there is this website here, bulk.tfttrove.com. And what you can do here is basically you can connect it with your Path of Exile account and you can see all the stash tips you have in here and whatever is in there. So for example, if I go to my currency tab right here and I press currency there, select tab, it will now give me a breakdown of how much roundabout these are worth. Now, they're not always 100% correct, but they're very good estimates uh, usually. And you have the stack size, you have how much they're worth. You can kind of like sort them. And this also feeds into... Uh, trading on TFT. For example, you generate text or generate image. So for example, if I went to generate text and now I go back to Discord to the TFT and I insert it here, it says want to sell Calandra and then you have exactly what kind of price this is. This is used for some things like for example, delirium orbs. I don't want to go too in depth here. Just know that this exists and it can kind of give you a very nice overview over um, your earnings. And number 10, let's talk about Excellence Next. I actually don't have this one installed anymore. I don't use it anymore. But this is basically just a more in-depth TFT bulk selling tool. Uh, I will link Lockerhole's video down in the description. He talks about it a little bit more. Um, here you can analyze stuff like how much currency per hour you made. Um, how much income you can take certain snapshots you can see exactly what is in your stash which is a very nice tool for me personally i don't use it anymore because the bulk prices are kind of distorted it kind of gives you the wrong impression but uh, if you really want to know how much x per hour you made and you don't want to do it after the fact you want to see while you're doing it you don't want to do the math at the end um, this program is great and i'll definitely um, say use it and then also two honorable mentions here at the end um google and reddit google in general 
um, whenever you type in a keyword, so whatever you're looking for, once again, we talked about chill, you type in chill and then either PoE Wiki or PoEDB and you will immediately get wherever you want uh, to be. And then also, if there's a more specific question or topic you have in mind that you don't think is going to be answered there, mainly specific things, uh, you type in the question or the topic exactly uh, and you do PoE and then also Reddit. A lot of the times, other people have asked the same question as you before. This game's pretty damn old already, uh, so you can usually find an answer. Now, when it comes to Reddit, there's two. There's the normal Reddit and then there's the builds Reddit. Path of Exile builds Reddit right here and the normal Reddit, just Path of Exile. I use Reddit mostly for a source of news. Um, believe it or not, GG actually interacts a lot more on Reddit than on the official forums. So that's where you can find answers from devs. Uh, that's where you can usually find the newest patch notes. However, if you want to use the official forums, do so. It's just way easier to find on the Reddit. Um, overall, it can become a little bit circle jerky. For example, if there's a bad league, people will just go on and on and on about how bad it is. So if you don't, really like that sort of negativity, usually Reddit will not be a good place for you. However, it is a good way to kind of feel the temperature of the community and also be part of the community. So if you have questions, if you want to post, Reddit is definitely the place to go. Also, the Path of Exile, uh, Reddit has a lot of nice resources. On the side here, uh, some of the uh, stuff we talked about in this video is linked on the side. And then you also have a build index, which uh, isn't always updated. I don't know how often it is updated, but it basically has a lot of uh, current builds, uh, content creators, stuff like that. So it basically connects you with other parts. Also, if you want live streams, the Path of Exile directory on Twitch, obviously I have my own stream, twitch.tv slash Um, But if you want to hang out somewhere, if you want to be part of a community, especially if this is your main game, I think this is the best place to be. And that's not just me. Whether you want the racer, somebody who's more build focused, somebody who is more currency focused, you will find them here and you can join their communities. Now let's list them all up here again as a conclusion. I will say that everything up to, I would say, number five is completely mandatory. And then we're dipping more and more into in-depth stuff. Uh, overall, uh, if you want to see the full spectrum of the game, these are extremely helpful as well. Also, also a little bit of a trend you will see is that most of these are trading related. And that's mostly because trading in Power of is completely awful and kind of the community has to carry. So it is what it is. Uh, the game is still awesome, so it's still worth uh, investing time into learning how to use these trading functions. Overall, I hope this video could help you out and uh, see ya. But that's it for the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. As always, a huge shout out to my Twitch subscribers and my Patreons. I couldn't do videos like this without you. Thank you so much for the support. But yeah, those are basically, in my opinion, the most important ones. There's obviously more and more out there um, over time. So keep your eyes open. But uh, with that being said, since I still don't have a slogan, see you next time.